When you open the main window for Air Manager, you'll see it has three tabs. These are Home, Create Edit, and Settings. Be sure Home is selected. Below that on the left, we see a list of currently installed panels, and on the right, the selected panel's layout is displayed. To install one of the available pre-made panels, simply click the Add Panel button. This will open a list of all pre-made panels that are currently available online. In this case, let's say we want to download a free Cessna 172 panel. By clicking Add, then selecting the layout, in this case there's only one, selecting a monitor that we'd like it to be displayed on, and clicking Add. The panel is downloaded, and then one at a time the instruments are downloaded and their previews are displayed on the layout window. If you scroll down below the layout window, there's also a number of settings and user properties that can be set for the panel. If the simulator is running and the plugin has been correctly installed, there's a message on the bottom right showing the status of the connection. If Air Manager and the simulator are on the same computer or the same local area network, this connection should be automatic. Now to open the panel, you just need to select the line and click the light bulb on the line or the show button above. The panel loads and is ready for use. Once open, the right mouse click on the panel allows certain necessary inputs, including closing the panel. In the layout window, it's also possible to reposition instruments by dragging with the mouse. And when an instrument has been selected, there are white handles on the corners and sides of the instrument that can be used to resize by dragging. If you want finer control, there's also a contextual menu. If you right-click on an instrument, you will see a contextual menu pop up. These options offer more precise input to instrument positioning and scaling. For example, Configure allows you to enter numerical values down to the nearest pixel for locations and sizing of the instruments. In addition to moving and resizing instruments, you also have the ability to edit a panel by removing instruments and adding other instruments. So let's right click on the directional gyro and select Remove Instrument to remove the gyro and then select Add Instrument. This will open a dialog containing over 600 available online instruments. You can narrow the search by typing a filter. We'll use HSI here. And we'll select a Bendix King HSI and click Add. And the instrument appears on the layout panel. We can then drag that where we want it. We can resize it with the handles. We can move it where approximately where we want it. We can fine tune it a bit and when we're happy with it we can open the panel and see how it looks. Clicking show to open the panel and as it opens we see our HSI is in position. We'll try the uh, controls on the uh, heading bug and give it a try to make sure it's working. Right click on the panel to uh, unlock the panel. You can see the panel can be moved around even to different monitors. Set always on top so that uh, any windows that open won't block out the panel. Of course close the panel and we're back uh, to the layout window. So let's say you decide you want to buy one of the pay panels, the premium panels uh, for use with Air Manager. Well just like before you click the uh, add panel button but you can see some of the panels have a little button that says buy. So let's say you decide you want to buy a, a pay panel for the Beach Baron. You can scroll down till you find the Beach Baron It'll show you what uh, simulators it, it will work with. You click the Buy button and it opens a window on the Sim Innovations website where you can complete the purchase. Once you complete the purchase, you'll be able to add that panel to your Air Manager installation. You'll be able to use those instruments uh, on other panels also. Well, I hope this uh, video got you started and can get you up and running. But if you want to go deeper, there's some excellent sources. Two I would recommend. First, the Sim Innovations Wiki. It has a plethora of information, files to download, step-by-step -step instructions, and that's an excellent source of information at uh, Sim Innovations slash Wiki. The second is the user forums. There are lots of users that are very happy to help. You'll find uh, many, many well uh, 
seasoned users who are eager to help out new people getting started. So uh, that's an excellent source of information. I hope this video has been useful. Thanks for watching.